Time now for today's focus report. The US has the world's highest incarceration rate, with over two million prisoners behind bars. There's bipartisan support for reducing these numbers, and earlier this month, President Barack Obama commuted the sentences of more than 200 people currently serving time. Prison overcrowding has been made worse by the fact that often criminals are slapped with lengthy sentences for non-violent offences. But the country seems to be moving towards criminal justice reform, as our correspondents Philip Crowther and Gallagher Fenwick report. Change is afoot in the country with the highest prison population rate in the world. We have 12 cells. The guards at the North Carolina Correctional Institution for Women show us the solitary confinement block. Well over two million people fill the expansive prison system in the United States. That's almost a quarter of the world's prisoners. The White House wants to reverse the trend and shrink the number of inmates. They fill federal and state prisons like this one to the rafters. We're, we're definitely full. We stay full. Uh, for the most part, and especially when it comes to the female population. Uh, so, because there's only so many places uh, in the state of North Carolina to keep, you know, the uh, female offenders. This is our segregation housing unit here. This is our recreation yards for our segregation inmates over here, and this is our entrance way. The United States spends $80 billion per year on its prison system. U.S. President Obama wants to change a criminal justice system that he believes sends too many people to prison for too long. He says that the sentences handed out to nonviolent drug offenders were, and still are, exaggerated. All yard workers, all yard workers report to you A reform bill suggests that instead, the money spent on a prisoner should go toward addiction recovery and training for employment. But much more is wrong. There's the simple fact that a disproportionate number of prisoners are African American or Latino. It's time for change, say even those who work within America's prison system have men and women that are considerably um, committing crimes continuously, um, but that comes from maybe their uh, upbringing and how they live, um, people they're involved with, but still, uh, in a sense, we have to look at the bigger picture to help them to become better because they may not know how to be a better person. Prisoners here, maybe not surprisingly, believe the system isn't fair, but they are backed up by the administration. They say that simply locking up drug offenders for long periods of time won't make crime go away. They want more energy and money put into preventing crime rather than arresting people. We're not really fighting the disease of addiction. We're just being, being more of a it needs more, it needs more criminal activity. in this more, more, fame. More, more activities to do, more school education. Less more education, education more should be allowed for everybody to do attend to. Yeah, you, yeah. Have, you have people in here for just smoking marijuana that's doing four, six, eight yeah, months right. Right. of prison. What good does that do to anybody? Or if they sell, if they have 10 pills on them, they're getting five to seven years. It's just it's just a ridiculous amount of time. With symbolic gestures, U.S. President Obama has tried to shed a light on his proposals he has commuted the sentences of hundreds of minor offenders like Ramona Brandt. She got out of prison after 21 years of a life sentence. Her return to normality has been a blessing, she says, but also a shock for a woman used to being behind bars. So I jumped back on the train, still holding money in my hand because I didn't know how to buy a token. <laughs> I'm scared that the police is going to come and arrest me and send me back to prison. And, um, I got, by the time I got back to the Halfway House, I just had a whole meltdown because um, I, I never experienced fear so much like I did that day. Ramona is enjoying her newfound freedom. Classes have helped her reintegrate into a society that's changed during those 21 years. Uh, come back for lunch. We're going to talk about educating others, connecting to the community, 
We'll have our afternoon break at 2.30. Ramona spent two decades in jail on a non-violent, first-time drug conspiracy charge. Prosecutors said she was part of a drug ring run by her abusive boyfriend at the time. Her sentence was life in prison. I missed out on watching my sons grow up. And I think that was the most hurtful times of my life. It's a shame that in our society that knowing about a drug situation gives you more time than the average pedophile or the DWI person that has committed murder with their vehicle. Um, it, it, it makes no sense. It was a surprise intervention by the president himself that gave Ramona back her freedom. Now she says her fight is for those who are still locked up on long sentences for minor crimes. Ramona was set to spend as much time in prison as the women in this block, death row. The three women locked up here will die in prison, but they were sentenced for murder, not for a minor drug offense.